How we doing everybody? And welcome to Chefing It Up. I'm Jock and I'm here to cook some delicious food for you. Today we're going to be doing Pad Thai. So the easiest way we're going to do it is we're going to slice this bit off first. And the same on this one. So put them to the side. And then from this, we're going to chop at an angle. So we've got our sliced up chicken breasts for the marinade. We're going to use some chicken powder, say a tablespoon and a half. We're going to use a tablespoon of sugar. And we're going to have a pinch of black pepper and then some vegetable oil and then we're going to give that a mix through and we're going to put it in the fridge for about four hours so while you're chickens marinating we're going to go ahead and prepare our veggies we're going to start off with a fine diced bunny onion but not too thin just like that we're going to top and tail the sugar snap peas Take out that nasty vein, the baby corn. Now we're going to put them on the top. And then with the mushrooms, don't want them too big, don't want them too small. I reckon that is going to be perfect. So we're going to cut the rest of the mushrooms that size. Ta da! And we're going to put them in a the tub as well. The reason we do dice is because it just makes it a wee bit better and just easier to eat. And we're going to put this in a tub as well. This big one, I'm just going to chop into extremely fine circles. And the same with this one. Nice angles. Come on, that's too thin. And then, fish, fish, fish. And we're going to put them on top. And we'll bin these. And now it's time to sort the broccoli. Going to, don't want too much of the stem. So about that, put the knife in, don't chop it all the way down. Just get about halfway and then use your fingers to split it. And we'll do that again. Like that. And we're going to do that with all the broccoli. Use the mortar and pesto. And just bash it all down into a nice garlic puree. So, the chicken's been marinating for about four hours now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some bacon powder. You don't need a lot, but that. And what this is going to do, this process is called velveting, and this is going to make the chicken very, very tender. Now we've mixed in the bacon powder, I'm going to put it back in the tub, put it back in the fridge for about half hour, and then it'll be ready to start cooking. Careful, while you put the chicken in. Chicken is spread it out a wee bit. And then, I'm going to turn it. For about 
two minutes, maybe three minutes, before they take their salt and put it on a plate and rest. Just to keep that constant movement every now and then. Just keep those juices flowing. I wish you could smell this because it's absolutely delicious. In the same pan, we're going to throw in some onion. Just a handful. And just over a handful, really. Give that a toss. <clears throat> then we're going to chuck in some peppers. Super snap peas. Baby corn. Broccoli, another wee bit of broccoli, because I love broccoli, and the mushrooms. And then that bit of just lay on the floor, we'll put that in the bin. Now we're going to put in the garlic. I'm going to make a nice wee hole here, put that in there. And just like that up through. Now, we add in other noodles. I'm going to add in some fish sauce, tamarind sauce. Just a splash of dark soy. And then we add in just a wee touch of water. And also some sugar. And last but not least. Now, I should say second to last but not least, I'm going to add in crushed cashews. And then when it's close to being finished, finished, I'm going to add in the lemon juice. Oh, that smells delicious. It just needs a touch more tannerin. Not too much more. Like that. And now we add in some more chicken. I reckon that will be plenty. And another little bit more water. And just like that cook. While you watch cooking, put your stuff away. We're about a minute away from being ready, so in goes a splash of lemon juice. A pinch. Of spring onions. Get another wee toss. And then about 30 seconds, we'll plate up. Now we're going to plate up. I'm going to get some veggies in there and some meat first. I'm going to put on a couple of bits of the dark green spring onion and some more crushed cashew and that is my pad thai and I'm about 
30 seconds. We'll play it up. Now we're going to play it up. We're going to get some veggies in there and some meat first. of the dark green spring onion and some more crushed cashew and that is my pad thai <laughs> 